Hello everybody, it's Caleb again, and today we're going to be making a gear-shaped coaster. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the CAD part of this process, and we're going to be using Inkscape to perform that task. In the next video, we're going to be camming this design that we make now in MakerCam, and then in a third video, we're going to actually run it on my machine, and I'll show off what I can of it being cut out. So to begin, we're going to just go up to File, Document, Properties, and we're going to choose our unit of measurements. Now I'm going to choose millimeters. By default it will be on pixels so you definitely need to come in here and change it. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is use a built-in function within Inkscape to make the gear shape and we're going to go to extensions, render, and gear. Once we click that we'll have this little box that pops up that says gear and we have a bunch of stuff here. We can click live preview and it'll generate a gear so we can see it and we can actually play around with it and change the, the amount of teeth and all the different things. So I'm going to use, uh, my numbers are going to be 20, 30, and 10. I'm just going to hit apply. Once I hit apply, I'm going to hit close and then I can cl click and drag this thing down to where I want. Once I click it to where I want, I'm going to go up to object and I'm going to click ungroup and that's important for later on. It doesn't look like it does anything, but it, it is very important to actually click the end group on this gear shape. And I'm going to basically connect that so it stays symmetrical. And I want to make it 117 millimeters by 117 millimeters. Now, once that's done, I want to draw a circle over here on the side that I'll use to make a bunch of circles off of later on and I want this thing to be let's see I want it to be 184 by 184 alright so once I did that or do that I'm gonna select it copy it and paste it so I have another one I'm gonna move that down in the center here and I'm gonna change this one to a hundred or not a hundred to 80 millimeters by 80 millimeters I'm going to select both this circle and the gear with the shift key and or holding down the shift key and, and left clicking. Then go up to uh, object, align, and then I'm going to align both uh, vertically and horizontally. Once I do that and with them both still uh, selected, I want to go up to path and do difference. All right, so that's looking about right. So the next thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle right here. And then with the selection tool, I want to make it 20 millimeters high. And I don't really care about the width necessarily. What I want it to be is uh, long enough that it's past on both sides this inner circle, but it's not long enough that it bumps into the geometry of the gear on either side. So that looks pretty good there. And now I'm going to select both of them and center them. And then I'm going to just select the rectangle and copy, paste, so I have two of them. I'm going to go up here and rotate it 90 degrees, and then just kind of move it into position here. And then select that and the other rectangle and the gear, and center them all together. And then I'm going to go up to Path, and union and that does something pretty cool then I want to select my circle again copy paste in this circle I want it to be 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters and drag that down here select the gear shape and that center them on each other uh, go up to path again and do another union And then I want to copy and paste and duplicate basically another circle. And this circle I want it to be 15 millimeters by 15 millimeters. It's going to be right in the center. And then with them both selected I want to hit uh, this one. And ta-da! That looks good. So we're going to take this remaining circle and we're going to center it kind of in the middle here. Select the gear shape, 
center them on each other. And then I want to go up to object, or path, I'm sorry. I want to go to path and hit combine. And basically what the combine is there for is um, you don't need that necessarily, but every time I ran it, it while I was testing out this idea and this design, and, and every time I imported it into MakerCam, the circle uh, jumped way off of the of where it was supposed to be. And when you uh, basically combine them together, it doesn't have that problem. So just a little bit of a tip, I think, that I picked up on accident, actually. Um, oh, I guess I can do this precise. <laughs> I'm going to do it one millimeter by one millimeter off the zero, just so I have a little bit of clearance on this um, tooth right here and here. And that's basically it right there. I guess we can we can just do a, a save. I'm going to save it to my desktop as Gear Coaster. So once that's done, we're basically done. So in the next video, as I said, we're going to cam it out in Maker Cam. Unfortunately, I don't have access to Easel yet, but I would have liked to have done it in Easel, but it's still in uh, pre-alpha or pre-beta stages, and they're not giving access to everybody just yet. So until then, we're still kind of stuck using things like Inkscape and MakerCam to do everything. Um, I've ran through a lot of other software, too, on my channel, and it has been interesting to go through that. But I still think Inkscape and MakerCam are a really great place to start with when you're first doing some projects. And this is a fun little project to do. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you do like the video, if you have any questions about what we've done so far, um, you can um, ask them in the description below and I will try my best to answer them. Uh, so bye.